Hello, my brave readers. Welcome to our reading circle. Today, we're going to read a story about temper tantrums and controlling those big, explosive, angry feelings, called Ravi's Roar, by Tom Percival. Read and adapted by Miss Coralie. Ravi was the youngest. And the smallest in his family. Everyone was bigger than him. Even Biscuits the dog. How many siblings do you have in your family? Are you the youngest, the oldest, or are you somewhere in between? Most of the time, being the smallest was great. But sometimes, just sometimes, it wasn't. One day, Ravi and his family went on a picnic. There was a race to the train. Guess who came last? Ravi. Everyone else got a comfy seat, but Ravi had to squeeze in with Dad and Biscuits. Then. Biscuits made a bad smell. When everyone got to the park, they played hide and seek. It was meant to be fun, but Ravi couldn't find anyone. Could you find Ravi's brothers and sister? At the playground, the monkey bars were too high. The gaps between the logs were too wide. And when Ravi wanted to go on the big slide, the man said, "Sorry, son, you're too small." Ravi got so mad that his face turned red. But then Dad said, "Come on, let's get ice cream." Everybody ran off. Guess who came last? Ravi. And then, when Ravi went to get his ice cream, there was none left. Well, that really did it. What do you think will happen next? Ravi was furious. He growled, and a stripy tail popped out from the back of his shorts. Then, he sprouted two furry ears, sharp, pointy teeth, and stripy orange fur. Ravi had turned into a tiger. The tiger took a huge, deep breath, and then roared. Ravi's brother looked a bit nervous, and handed the tiger his ice cream. When the tiger went to sit down, there were no open benches, so he roared, and everybody got out of the way. It was great being a tiger. Why do you think being a tiger is so great for Ravi? The tiger did all the things that Ravi couldn't. He swam across the monkey bars. He leaped across the logs. He even slid down the big slide. Nobody dared to say no. So the tiger went wild. He roared and growled and did exactly what he wanted. But soon he found that nobody wanted to play with him. Why do you think nobody wanted to play with Ravi anymore?
Suddenly, the tiger felt a bit sad, and nowhere near as angry. In fact, he couldn't quite remember what had made him so angry in the first place. "I'm sorry," said the tiger in a quiet voice, and when he said that, everything felt better. "That's okay," said Dad. "Good job for saying sorry." Then, without even realizing, Ravi became a boy once more, and that was the last time that Ravi ever turned into a tiger. Although every now and then, he did have a bit of a growl. What happened in this picture that angered Ravi? The end. It was a good thing that Ravi had his family there to talk to and to comfort him. The last time you felt angry and frustrated, how did you act? Was there someone you were able to talk to? How can you tell when someone else is also feeling angry? Let's take a minute to think about it. Pair up with someone close to you and share your thoughts. Thank you for hanging out with us, and we'll catch you later at our next. Reading circle. Have a good one. Bye.